What is going on guys and welcome to plugins and libraries video and this video we're going to check out how we can get a countdown clock as our jQuery plugin. So we go back to our good old friend Google and we just write that let's say 20 countdown jQuery plugins right and you can see over here that I'm going to have a website where you have plenty of them right to be exact 20. But the thing that I didn't like about some of them, like this J countdown and flip clock, that some of them you need to pay the money, some of them I didn't like how they look. So finally I just settled on this one, right? You can see this one, DS countdown, right? So if you press over here, it obviously right away explains what we need to do, right? So there's two files that we need, right? First we obviously need a jQuery, and after that we're gonna have a DS countdown GS and the S count on CSS, right? So what we need to do is obviously we can actually copy this right away over here like this. We can just say copy and we go somewhere in the body and we just paste it, right? So now we have a jQuery and our GS file. And what we need also is a CSS, right? This is gonna be our CSS. I'll just copy this and we're gonna go somewhere in the head, right? In the, not in the title necessarily, but within the head. I was gonna paste it. This is gonna be our this uh, DS countdown CSS. And last thing that we're gonna need is over here this div. So it's gonna somewhere in the body, we're gonna paste that div. And then after that, this is gonna be a script. So let's just copy the script over here like this and we're going to say that this is going to be our script so we're just going to paste it over here but we need to get rid of these numbers of course right otherwise it's not going to work so here we're going to create a delete these numbers and then you can see that this class countdown right so we need to change this class right away this is not going to be a demo this is be a countdown, right? This is our class. This is the div that we are actually working in, right? So after that, what we need to do is actually we would need to go back and actually download it, right? So we go back over here, just click download. You can see that it's custom theme uh, download zip. So you can see over here that it's adding, right? You can see that I actually already added it once, right? So this is gonna be the zip once we uh, check it out you can see that these are the two files that I need right and since I'm working over here in this bootstrap right in this folder so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this uh, discount CSS right this is gonna be the first one and then I'm gonna get a discount GS right so as I open it over here you can see that I have both of these files right so if I go back to a uh, brackets over here you can see that I have both of these files, right? And now I have actually linked them, right? So I'm pretty much ready to go, right? So here, this is just some explanations that we can check it out in this website, but I don't think we need them anymore, right? And if we just uh, save this and refresh, you can see that I have my clock over here. And if I go back over here, I can obviously change it, right? And 220 to so something like, a, this is year 2020 so let's say let's change it to 2017 save it again back at here you can see that now it's 260 days right so you get an idea how you can actually change over here these uh, dates and also let's check it out how we can change themes so if we go to this a uh, discount to DS countdown CSS you can see that we have white theme we have a, let's say, what, what else we have? We have a black theme, we have a red theme, right? So how do we change that, right? So we can go back to this DS countdown GS, and as we just scroll it down, you can see theme, right? And the only thing we need to do is actually change this theme, let's say black, and we save it. You can see that this is gonna be black. And if we have red and save it, this is going to be red and obviously if we write just here flat and save it this is going to be flat right so this is how easy it is to actually add a discount i'm sorry ds countdown clock to your file right 
So over here in my index, you can see what we needed to do. We needed to download, we needed this DS countdown CSS, then we needed a actual div, then we needed jQuery, then we added over here this uh, our script, right? This was our script, this is our GS, and this was our actually jQuery script, right? This is what we added. And if we wanted to uh, do some kind of uh, different themes, we went to the JS file and we just found the themes and we worked with the themes. Uh, this is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,